Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Learning with Jelly. Today, we're on lesson 13 of our SAS series, and it's going to be on PROC Report. Now, the first thing that we're going to cover on PROC Report is the actual syntax. Now, one reason why people love this procedure is that it combines PROC print, PROC means, PROC tabulate all in one. Okay, so there is a lot of things that you can do within this one procedure, but today we're just going to go over an introduction of this procedure. So the basic syntax for a PROC report is going to be your data set name, of course, and then it's going to have this keyword column um, statement where you can add your variables that you want to actually list out in a report. So we're going to look at some different examples of PROC report using different variable types, okay? So in this column keyword, if at least one of the variables is a character variable or a categorical variable, then you're going to get one row out per observation in your report, okay? So say for instance, this data set that I'm reading from, which is sashelp.baseball, say for instance, it has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven observations in it. When I do a proc report on the division, which is your character variable, and then CR hits, which is a numeric variable, it's gonna print out seven rows for each of those seven observations. And it's only going to print out the division and the career hits columns, okay? So this is a very simple example that you also can practice in your SAS On Demand for Academics tutorial. I mean, interface. So what if you have just numeric variables in this column statement, okay? So for all numeric variables, it's gonna sum each of those up and return one number. It's going to even sum up dates. So be careful when using dates in PROC report, okay? So in this example, we're still reading from the baseball data set. The two numeric variables that we have is career home runs and career hits. So out of all of the observations in this data set, it has roughly 24,000 career home runs, Okay, and then it has 240,000 career hits. So that is the main difference between character versus numeric variables being mentioned in this column statement. If you utilize characters, okay, then it's going to print out one observation per row broken out by that character variable and the numeric variable that you have listed. If you have all numeric variables, it's gonna return one number. One number that's the sum of that numeric variable. So a way that you can add some flavor to this PROC report is by using different options in a defined statement. So there is a group option that lets you create one row for each value within a group. You can order things, you can change how things are displayed, and you also can calculate summary statistics by using analysis, the default is sum, okay? So we're gonna look at a couple of these options. And the first one is going to be that order option, okay? So now I have this defined statement. And as you can see, I'm defining career hits and I'm ordering it by that column. And I'm renaming that column to be career hits ordered. So this is the output that I get for the first two observations, okay? And as you can see, it's going to order this from least to greatest and it changed the name of the variable to career hits ordered. And it returns everything because I don't have a column statement here telling it to only return certain columns. So it's just going to return everything. So this is just a basic report where I'm just ordering the report by a specific column, least to greatest. Another option is the group by. So in this example, I have league and salary. League is a character variable, okay? And then in a defined statement, I'm saying I want to group the salary by the league, okay? So I have league slash group. 
So in this case, it's going to return two observations for me because there's only two leads. And it sums up the salary for each one of those leads. So this is the total salary for the American League summed up. This is the total salary for the National League summed up. So this can quickly tell me that the American League on average makes more than the National League. Now, what if I wanted to return the mean salary and not the actual sum of salary that we saw in the previous step? So in this example, I have a column statement again, and now I have two defined statements. You can have as many defined statements as you possibly would like. And then now I'm saying, hey, group by the lead, but salary, give me the mean instead. So now I have the mean salary in thousands, okay, for players in the American League versus the National League. And I can see on average players in the American League do make more money salary rise. If you want to include missing data, you can use this keyword missing that we have right here. So all in all, PROC Report is going to help you create beautiful reports. As you can see, it has some analysis features just like PROC means. You're able to have rows and columns just like PROC tabulate. And it's going to give you some printout features to change titles of columns, labels, just like PROC print. Okay, so you can combine all of these things into one procedure such as PROC Report and make pretty reports. You use the define statement if you want to change the order and order a report a certain way, if you want to group your report by a certain categorical or character variable, or you can also do a certain analysis, whether it's the mean, sum, standard deviation, et cetera, et cetera. And that is our brief introduction of PROC Report. I hope you enjoyed this brief tutorial. I'm going to put the link to the documentation for prop report in the description. And as always, thank you for tuning in with Learning with Jelly, everyone. Have a great day.